Hello everyone, welcome to ABC tutorial and today I will start bootstrap playlist. So uh, I think bootstrap is very popular and most popular uh, framework to build a website without getting pain of HTML and CSS. So uh, before starting bootstrap you need to know about HTML basic and uh, CSS basic. So you never need to know advance of HTML and CSS just you need to know basic so in bootstrap actually website building is so simple and easy so if you know bootstrap you can do anything and you can do anything for your website or your project so in uh, many of the companies are using this uh, framework so this is actually big advantage to develop a website so i'm going to start bootstrap 3 actually so but uh, bootstrap 4 already released and it's working good and but i'm trying to teach you bootstrap 3 because bootstrap 3 uh, is a stable version and uh, when you learn bootstrap 3 then you can uh, you can start bootstrap 4 as well so i'm going to start bootstrap 3 so firstly you need to go bootstrap website which is bootstrap 3 and i can search using bootstrap 3 so here is bootstrap website mm, so go so click getting started so this is actually bootstrap 3.3 documentation and here is showing bootstrap 4 is here so um, I will I will maybe start again another playlist for bootstrap 4 but now bootstrap 3 so getting started and firstly see here right right panel we have a lot of things and we will learn these things so go download so download this version actually because this is source code and this is search version and this is actually bootstrap full package so bootstrap is downloaded so co cut or copy this bootstrap and I, I i i create a folder bootstrap 3 just extract after extracting i'm deleting this one and go inside and um just copy this folder three folders css javascript and fonts so there is my bootstrap package just simple three folder so i need to create a html file so you can use any any editor like netbeans uh, or notepad plus plus or visual studio to, to work but i will i will use notepad only because many of students can't have visual studio or notepad plus plus so but everyone has notepad so save as all files and i will save is uh, save it, it it as html file so see here html file is saved and i will delete this one so I need to open it I can open it using both Visual Studio or any other um, uh, my ID but I will never use this I will just use notepad because everyone has this in this in his computer so now if you know about HTML basics so you may you, you maybe know about HTML tags right so HTML and HTML open and ending text so so firstly we have a head tag open and ending head and after head we have a body tag and we have body ending tag so, so inside the head tag we can we can bring a lot of things but now go website and see select basic template 
here uh, there is a basic template but I will never use their template so I will just copy this this line links or you can write it directly to your uh, file no problem but I'm copy just I I I I am doing copy from here so and I need another is this one um, okay so now in body part if you know about HTML basics so you know this is a structure of HTML and I can write here hello oh, okay firstly not hello world so put input type text just save it and just run it from me from here see here is a text box and so see this is a basic text text box so that means bootstrap is not working but I need to uh, prove if bootstrap is working or not so how can I prove it I can use bootstrap cla class form control form control is a bootstrap class so uh, firstly I, I, I need to tell you that bootstrap is fully class based framework class based mean when you are trying to learn uh, use anything you have to use a class right so everything of bootstrap code written inside this class so inside this CSS so just save and reload see button is changed that means bootstrap is working but if I if I delete this class that means bootstrap is not working and button is basic so so this is actually this thing so so um, for learning bootstrap we have uh, we already uh, we already see our bootstrap is working so it's just a test that bootstrap is working or not in my project and you can see how project is uh, set up for bootstrap so this is actually bootstrap setup so uh, I, I need to test again bootstrap is set up well so div and I will use a class container so and I will keep this input box inside this container div so see here I again read I again wrote a class called container so that means that means container class another class so bootstrap in bootstrap container class has a um, written code which mean this a uh, container class inside this container class all these things will be a structured or a, a, a styled shape so I can see here see two side right and left automatically aligned that means in this container class we have a written code what bootstrap authority or bootstrap framework uh, developer wrote that when we will use this container class left and right side will have some play space right so that actually we did in raw CSS by written uh, um, margin or padding right margin left margin right or padding left padding right so another thing if I if I use a break see yeah one break is working so that means it's looking so nice than previous so this is actually a bootstrap um, setup so how to set up bootstrap and how it's working so in last video I will start learning bootstrap serially and uh, and uh, I will start in next video from uh, component so in this component section 
you can learn all of component and how it's working and what will be actually in real life and how it's working in real life so i will i will teach you in next video serially all this all these things all these things so just keep subscribe and see my next video thank you very much